Funny man, Stephen Gobert is here this morning with a serious announcement. DonorsChoose.org is a website that uses crowdfunding to help public school students and teachers. Today, more than 50 actors, athletes, and entrepreneurs have pledged to fully fund public school grant requests for several regions of the country on DonorsChoose.org. Hi. I'm Samuel L. Jackson. I'm Serena Williams. Hi, my name is Viz Stone. I'm a co-founder of Twitter. I'm Ashton Kutcher. Hi, I'm Seth Rogen. I'm Dwight Howard of the Houston Rockets. Hi, I'm Jeff Weiner, the CEO of LinkedIn. Hi, I'm Russell Simmons, and I'm funding schools in Hollis, Queens, alongside my brothers, Danny and Reverend Rudd. I'm funding all the classroom projects in the state of Iowa. So the region that I am funding is Compton. I'm from Compton, California. We're so happy to to fund all the projects in Sonoma County. And I'm funding all the classroom projects in Chattanooga, Tennessee. In the greater Boston area. Woohoo! that's right. I grew up in Boston. That's cool. Stephen Colbert inspired those donations mm -hmm. after funding all public school projects last spring in his home state of South Carolina. The donors chose dot org board member and host of The Late Show. He joins us now at the table. Welcome back. Good morning. Great day. Tell us about me. Best School Day. Great idea. Well, uh, Best School Day is probably the best thing I've ever been involved in. As you said, last, last spring, with the help of the people at Donors Choose and Charles Best, the founder, uh, I helped fund every classroom project in South Carolina. And for those of you out there who don't know what Donors Choose is, it's my favorite charity because Teachers in classrooms all around the country can put up any project they want to teach their children or help their kids with, but they don't have the funds for. You want to teach a book, you don't have the book in your school. You want to do an art project, you don't have the supplies. You, as a donor, can choose, hence the name. Yeah. You go to the state, you go to the school, you go to the project, you fund it. 100% of your money goes to that project, and the kids write you back, and you find out about it. And Best School Day is flash funding projects all over the United States. 47 states, including the District of Columbia, 11,000 classroom projects. As you heard, the wonderful people who are involved. $14 right million. Now. Dollars. $14 million. And it all happens today. How did you get all them involved? All in one day. How did you get them involved, Stephen? Did you just simply pick up the phone and ask them? You know what? I just called up everybody in Hollywood and everybody in the industry and I said, it's time, guys. It's time. <laughs> no, this is all donors choose. I am happy to be involved in this and to tell you guys about it. But this is all being done by donors choose and Charles Best and these people who are awesome. already involved in the organization. And it's, I'm, thank you for encouraging it, because I went on this morning, donated to my home school, and a, home, a school in my hometown of San Antonio, mm -hmm. Texas. These are fifth graders mm -hmm. who are struggling learners and need money for flashcards. Mm -hmm. This is the simplest need our kids. Yeah, and, the, and the great thing is that the people who are, who are doing these donations today, the people who are giving these $14 million and funding these projects, the reason they're doing it and the reason I did it is that I know that the real heroes are the teachers right. yep. who are too often themselves spending their own money for these yeah. projects. What's great about it, too, one-on-one, -on -one. I mean, you give yep. a dollar, a dollar has value. Yeah, and every dollar you give goes exactly to that project, and you hear back from those kids. And here's what one said, dear Stephen Colbert, thank you for donating. We have heard you have a TV show, but it is too late for us to watch. And, <laughs> and given funny? this presidential campaign, maybe not appropriate for no, children what he said. to hear what they're talking are, about. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But he wanted to know, are you funny? Mm -hmm. Am I funny? That's what he said. Oh, if, I, if I'm not, I'm in big trouble. What's his name? <laughs> Larry. 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 <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, Larry. You, were you a good student, Stephen, yeah. in school? Uh, you know, I was. Why do you feel so passionate about this? <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I, I, was a I was a good student uh, when I was younger. I, was, I did not apply myself in high school. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. The fact that this all worked out for me is pretty much a miracle. But I'll tell you what, tonight on the show, I'm actually going to talk to my favorite teacher from fourth grade, Ms. Oh. Kansas. Because what I found out was, is last spring when we flash funded every project in South Carolina, two of the projects were in my elementary school, Stiles Point Elementary on Michael Drive on James Island, South Carolina. So I went back to my original classroom from fourth grade and talk to my fourth grade teacher. But I'm thinking it's good to be you, to Charlie's point in the green room when he said, is politics a gift that keeps on giving? We ran a clip of your show in the eye opener with a, a bite on the Hillary Clinton thing where yeah. somebody said, why is this happening? It was the scene from Poltergeist, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What the hell What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> I imagine that has to be a little bit of what's going on in Hillary's campaign yeah. right now. Did I just hear that those aren't actually Trump stakes? Yes. Yes. They come from a company called, called Bush. Called Bush Brothers. They come from a company called Bush Brothers. Wow. There's an endorsement right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe he wasn't even claiming the... Uh, you know, my well, theory is he was just announcing his running mate. Mm. Trump pile of meat 2016. <laughs> but but I mean, is, is Trump perfect for satire? He is, and I'm sure he'll be a great president, too. <laughs> 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 
I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah. Everything's yeah. Going to How be are fine. you handling Are that? you really? What? Are you really? Everything's going to be fine? Yeah. You know what? Uh, yeah, because yeah. there's, there there's a less than zero chance that Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. And I have to imagine the Republic will roll on. Yeah, everybody <laughs> the says that, will roll on. But yeah, the, exactly. number, the numbers keep going up. You know, I love that there's a big movement to say, let's all go to Canada mm -hmm. if he becomes president. You've seen yeah. that. Yeah, that's what Canada's building a wall right now. <laughs> on the northern border. No, actually, the, the Canadian website, the immigration <laughs> website got clogged from people yeah. like investigating. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that's because they want to leave if Donald Trump is president or they just want to be closer to Justin Trudeau? That guy is super hunky, isn't, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. Super no, and the president of Mexico is qualified. Kind of too. Have you seen him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, Stephen, let's play, let's play a little game. Ted Cruz or Tom Cruise? Lightning round. Ted Cruz, Tom Cruise. Oh, are there no questions about them? I just have to choose one? Yep. Yeah, choose one. I'll go choose Tom one. Cruise. <laughs> Stuck in an elevator with Kanye or Queen Elizabeth? Oh, Kanye. I go with Kanye. <laughs> praying, <laughs> praying with the Pope or dancing and singing with Beyonce? Oh, I'm a Catholic, and I gotta go with Beyonce because those hips are infallible. <laughs> visit, visit Trump Tower with Bill Clinton or Clinton Library with Melania Trump. Ooh, uh, I, I'd go uh, Clinton Library with Melania yes, Trump. I would. And yeah. for the last yeah. one, we need to go to the tape. We're gonna take it from your show. Roll tape, please, Randy. Charlie, pucker up. You're next, man. <laughs> Let's do it. I just want to know. I want to know how you get these women to kiss you like that. Uh, it's, it's my musk. <laughs> and, and I just exude I mean, it. I don't know, but I do come home with flowers to my wife a lot. Yeah, I came I home the say. last two nights with bundles of flowers that my assistant got me. I walked in the door. She goes, who was it this time? So, so Helen Mern, Sally Field, yeah, Jane Fonda. That's not bad, man. That's not bad. You got to pick. Oh, oh, the three of them? Yeah, yeah. pick. You can't, I can't. I, I will choose my wife. I will yeah, choose my wife. No, I know. I'm no fool. I, I no, on those, on those, on those nights, those three? Yes. On those nights, you go home and you're, there's a little blanket and a pillow on the couch. Where you're, <laughs> that's where you're sleeping. I say Helen ready. Mirren. That was pretty lovely. All right. That was totally un, all totally unexpected. But Next Helen to Mrs. Mirren Colbert. puts her hand around the, your neck. Next to Mrs. Colbert. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Great to have you. A pleasure to be here. Yeah. Great. Oh, Thank you. and Good people job. can donate to Donors Choose, and $3.2 million today will be matched by Sergey Brin. Oh. Uh, Great idea. From the Google. App founder, uh, Brian. Acton. You can wow. watch Stephen tonight and every weeknight on The Late Show at 11.35, 10.35 Central, right here on CBS.